Yo, what's up guys, it's Frosty and I'm bringing you guys another video. So today's video is a Smacking Sweats episode. In this episode, I make a 5 mana sweat to leave while playing solo. Now, it was so annoying to play them because I think like 3 of them were running requisitions. The only one that was actually kind of decent was the Daniel Traplife one. I've had him on my team and he's gone off before. I might have played him a few times and he did decent, but that's really the only one that was actually decent. He was, you know, running around, dropping streaks with, like that. He was running Ordnance and something else, I can't remember. Now, I did play them a bunch of the games before, but I kept- I was always on like a 2 bar or a 1 bar because my internet for the past like week and a half has just been terrible. And I keep calling my internet company and they keep saying they're gonna call us back, but they never do. So I gotta call them again tomorrow and try and get it all sorted out. But this was the one game where my internet was good for just this one time. You will see I do lag a little bit like every now and then. And I got killed off a V2 because I lagged and then... It just killed me. But I do get two viciouses this game. Now, I wish they would have stayed for the entire thing, but sadly they didn't. It was funny though, because they were talking shit like every game before. They were just talking so much shit, and then this happens. It's kind of depressing when you're in a five man running requisitions trying to spawn trap, and someone playing solo does this to you. Like, eh. And personally, in my opinion, I don't get why people play in like five mans and six mans unless you're like playing another six man. Then it makes sense, but to play in like an actual five man and six man on something like shit, man, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like two to three man is like kind of the max. Like three man is pushing it, especially if it's like other sweats too. Like if you're just chilling with your friends and yeah, it kind of makes sense. Still wouldn't play in a six man if you're just like chilling with your friends. But if like you're trying to sweat Two man is all I would recommend. Now, if you can, I do recommend playing solo. That's probably the best way to play. And honestly, it makes you a lot better because it teaches you how to control spawns by yourself and all that stuff. So if you guys don't play solo, I do recommend it. Or if you don't want to play solo, play in a two man. Don't go anything over that, in my opinion. Now, I was using my, like, counter sweat for my class, which I'd only started using recently to play against sweats. Because a lot of the sweats I keep running into are like parties, they all like to throw C4s and stuns, and so I threw on instincts and got rid of my escalation. And for those who didn't know, instincts get rid of the stun, it makes it so it doesn't stun you, it's kind of like tack mask from the Black Ops series. So that's pretty good. Now I do wish I would have had paratroopers on, because then they would have went off. But I did have Fighter Pilot on just because it's a sweatier streak, it's a lower streak, it's a lot easier for me to get. Now, you guys will see a few more Smacking Sweats episodes. I do have a Kill Confirm double nuke I gotta upload. You guys will see that. I still have a few more videos that I'm gonna upload before I upload that one. You guys are gonna see the Wimisberg, and then I think I have a 129 kill run and gun V2 rocket. You guys will like that. It's 107 second run and gun the entire game. So there was no me sitting behind the jeep, like, playing for streaks, just let my streaks do the work. I was just going in, I was running UAV, artillery, and then I also had paratroopers on, and I just went absolutely off that game. But yeah, there was only like two or three minutes left of this game, so I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the gameplay. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, go check out my most recent video my stg v2 because that was pretty insane gameplay i went 125 and 0. now i did try and mess with the tags a little bit compared to my normal ones because normally i just kind of copy and paste them from every video but i try to make them more like the one video base because that's what a lot of people do and it seems to work well with them but it's not working too well for me so if you guys have not checked that out already go check that out i'll have the appear in the top right corner plus it will probably be at the end screen plus i'll probably have it also linked down in the description but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay like I was saying, and yeah, see ya!
Firing fire. 